The locust pose. Number one, lay on your tummy with your arms and legs out flat. Number two, now lift your chest, legs and arms up as far as you can and hold that position. Number three, the final step is to point your toes and your fingers as far as possible while you're in position two. And that is how you do the locust pose. downward dog. Number one, first stand up straight with your feet flat on the floor ready for the next position. Number two, next bend over until your palms are touching the floor. Number three, finally keep your feet flat on the floor and hold that the position. And that is how you do the downward dog. The boat pose is a great yoga pose for strengthening the abdominal and hip muscles. It is a challenging pose but also a beneficial one because it builds core strength, stability and awareness of posture. 1. To begin this pose you need to sit on the floor with your legs straight out in front of you. 2. Next, bend your knees and lift your legs so that your thighs are at a, about a 45 degree angle to the floor. Lean back so that your torso too is at about a 45 degree angle to the floor. Straighten your legs slowly, taking the bend out of the knees to the degree that is possible for you. Three. Then stretch your arms towards your legs and reach out with your fingers. If you can't do this, hold on to your thighs or rest your hands lightly on the floor. Keep your lower abdomen flat and firm rather than hard. Don't touch your shoulders. 4. After that, remain in the pose, breathing steadily for between, between 10 seconds and 1 minute. First of all, stand up straight. Number two, put your hands together and put them in the air with your fingertips facing upwards. Number three, lift your leg and put the heel of your foot on your knee. Number four, then you can focus on your breathing. Number one, start by standing up straight. Number two, keep one leg forward and put the other slightly backward. Number three, place your arm on your back leg and the other arm pointing upwards, keeping your fingers straight. Number four, bend your body backwards slightly. Number five, then hold your position and focus on your breathing. you can reach comfortably. After that, slowly turn your head to the left as this will help stretch out your body. Finally, hold the position for several seconds. 
breathe deeply in and out. Return to the standing and repeat on the other side. Before you begin, stand with your feet together and arms by your side and make sure you're facing forward. Next, gracefully sit on your bottom, keep your legs straight and keep your face in the same position and put your arms by your side. Then, lie down as straight as you can while facing the ceiling. Now, lift your legs vertically and place your hands at the back of your hips. After that, lift yourself up as high as you can is how you do the candle flips. Stand up straight with your hands by your side and your feet together and head facing forward. Next, move your feet so they are shoulder width apart. Carefully get yourself in a squat. Then raise your hands above your head and fingers pointed to the ceiling. That is how you do the chair pose. dolphin pose. First, you need to lay flat on the floor with your stomach. With your hands in front of you, lift your body up so that you can get into your next position. Next, place your feet flat on the floor and also your elbow to your hand on the floor. Finally, lift your head up and hold position. Thank you. Camel pose. First, kneel on the floor, keeping your body upright so that you look like an L shape. Next, bend your back backwards until your hands touch your ankles behind you. Finally, tilt your head backwards and hold the position. Make tip. Make sure you breathe calmly so you concentrate more. Thank you.